Hello and welcome to Angel Tarot Card Readings by Tim, and this is our weekly Oracle Card Reading for the week of Monday, February 1st through Sunday, February 7th. And this week I am going to be using the Legacy of the Divine Tarot by Sarah Marchetti. Beautiful back of the tarot cards as you can see here. And I love the richness of the cards. I'm, I don't know, I'm, I'm just very drawn to rich colors when, I, when I'm working with my cards. Now, one of the things that uh, contemplating for what we could or what we should expect for this week, some of the things that I've been given here is that this is really taking a look at reflection and also how you are against other individuals. So this is comparison and contrasting. So taking a look, and this is in a non-judgmental way, but to see where you are in reflection of other people. So that's what they're telling me for this week. Also taking a look at the bigger picture for what's to occur, not only for February, for this whole month as well. So we're being guided to really press forward through the month of February. Uh, some of us may have had a, a rocky start for January, but this is pressing through and moving into February because I really feel February is going to be um, the time where we actually see movement. So let's go ahead and get us started here. So for the first part for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, here we have the Eight of Wands. And yes, right out of the gate here, the number eight with, and with this being Wands, this is accelerated motion. This is quick, fast action. So with the, the number seven, the Seven of Wands is... Uh, that's, it's really about defending your values and beliefs. There could be competition there and everything, but sevens are also about pausing and planning as well. So this is saying, hey, you're out of the planning stage. Now the doors are open and go. So this is very quick moving energy as we get into the first part of our week, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. You can expect that anything that's been stalled, that it quickly moves forward. We're also, I, I hear, strike while the iron is hot too. So any um, decisions that need to be made, action uh, steps that need to be done, now's the time to do it. So don't take any um, rests is what I'm hearing with this energy too. As we get into the middle part of this week, okay, we have even more wand energy and this is the King of Wands. Now the King of Wands, uh, this could be a business leader. This, cause this is actually a leader uh, taking action. I also feel that this could be somebody that may come into your energy for this week where the action steps that you've taken to begin, you may need that leadership. You may need somebody to step in and to help mold the action that, and the steps that you've taken to spring you forward for the rest of this week as well as for February. This is also about organization and structure as well. Uh, the King of Wands, when I'm looking at the King of Wands and somebody ever asks me, well, what is that person? What do they do? This is a CEO. This is, this is your actual financial planner. Um, this is the, the business owner. This is somebody that actually manages. So this is really asking you that if this isn't a person that's coming into your energy, that this is maybe something that you need to be doing. And again, this is high energy work. You know, well, wands are very much work related, and especially with this accelerated motion from Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And here we have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. This is definitely asking us to be more structured and to dive in and really get going. As we move into the weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, again, more wand energy. This is the three of wands. This is, very, this is going to be very much an action-packed week. Now, the Three of Wands, this is exploration. This is expanding your horizons. So as I look at this and all of these cards on a business level, because wands usually indicate our, our work and our career, but as I look at this, and I'm going to relate this to other aspects, but work-related, and I feel this very much so for our careers, that this is asking us that anything that may have been kind of put on the back burner is now going to be moving forward and very quickly. So hopefully you've done planning 
because February, as we move into this month, is going to really spring us forward. It's going to require a lot of discipline as well. But those of you that are actually have your own business, this is asking you to take a look at what it is about that business that you want to expand. You know, we may be looking at, um, in our current business, what is it that we're doing well and what do we want to add to our business to actually make that even better for us. This is also asking you to take a look at, uh, in a health situation, you know, January, uh, January is very much of a planning. I don't know about you guys, but January for me is always about planning. You know, I, I set my resolutions and I spend that entire month. I really don't do a whole lot in January. I, I do just the planning portion. You know, I want to, I want to lose weight. I want to take control of finances. I want to do this. I want to do that. And I create a weekly and monthly goal for the entire year of how I'm going to go about doing that. And it is usually February, which is, okay, that's my start date. So that's what I'm seeing with this. This is saying, okay, the planning's over. Now get to it. And the Three of Wands is asking us to take a look at the bigger picture. Again, what do we want to incorporate? So those of you that made resolutions to lose weight, perhaps you have done that through diet and cardio, but now you're thinking, okay, I've done diet and I've done cardio. What else do I want to add to that? It might be strength training. You know, financially, this could be, okay, I have created a financial situation where I've actually been paying off bills and now I've paid off a bill. Now I can take that money and put that something toward paying off another bill. And that's, that's the energy for what I feel with this. And I think this is going to be great, providing that it's structured and disciplined. So I know I've done a lot of rambling with all of this, but again, the important thing is get moving, structured, and think outside where your current environment is. And that's the true message for this week. Thanks so much, guys. I appreciate you tuning in. You can find me on Facebook. I am at greatangels 444 dot com slash fake well actually facebook.com slash great angels 444 so please do feel free to connect with me there i do post other things other than the videos thank you god bless and i'll talk to you next time bye